everybody, Shane back with here from Guitar or Guitar at Work. Welcome back, Shane Simpson here. Um, this is a neat one, and um, a lot of people ask me about how to use a metronome and how to make friends with your metronome. So here are a, a bunch of I'll call them daily drills. Uh, working with your time, your your internal clock. Basically, we all have to calibrate that. It's not something you just get and then you walk away from. It's something I have to report to the metronome quite frequently. Uh, my tendency, like most, is to speed up a little bit, and uh, we'll talk further about how to stop that. Um, so we're on, we're recording, everything is good, and uh, I want to thank you for coming back, thumbs up and all that have helped me a lot, and, and subscribing, I really appreciate that, and it's been a lot of fun doing this, I've met a lot of great people, I uh, thank you for that. Um, hey, I want to send you to patreon.com slash guitar work, go grab this sheet of paper here, I'll be referring to that the whole time, I've got it here in my trusty iPad, um, it's basically got all our patterns that we'll be talking about and how to break down the bar. Uh, you'll do a whole lot better with that. Patreon.com slash guitar at work. Uh, now metronomes come in all sizes and shapes. You may have a portable one. A lot of people have them on their phones now. Uh, the only problem with the phone ones that I've noticed is they're not quite loud enough to get over an acoustic guitar. It's easy to get lost. So just make sure you can hear the darn thing. Maybe use headphones or something. Uh, that's an important thing. Um, usually the trouble I see, I'm going to put this on. There's mine. You can hear that loud and clear. Um, some metronomes have an accent on beat one. It might go, it might go loud, two, three, for loud to that's okay you can you can use it that way as well I've, I've chosen one here that does not have any accents in it so I can start beat one wherever I want it to be watch out for that um, uh, what I was all gonna say was that um, it's important that um, it sounds so fundamental but you have to keep listening oftentimes we do this we go okay here comes G we started at the same time but now I'm off because I sped up I basically I stopped listening right so you have to get in there one two, three, four, one, two, and counting to me is essential at first. It's counted out loud, counted in your head, tap your foot, one, two, three, and four, and, but before, let's back it up a step. What we've got here, um, I've broken it up, item number one, bar number one on your sheet there, um, all downstrokes, okay, M most of the time downstrokes are happening on down beats, in other words, when you hear a click. Upstrokes tip or a, a, a metronome mark. Uh, upstrokes typically happen uh, in between, in between the metronome. So if I do this, it's going down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Notice every time I'm, I'm hearing a click, tip, click, click. That equals a downstroke. Um, that's not going to be all the time in your musical life, but it's a lot of the time. So it's, it's a great place to start if this is new to you. Uh, so item number one are those are quarter notes. So we've got literally four to the bar. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. Same thing. Just gonna go number one, round around. Now I know that sounds basic, obviously, but there is a perfect test of are you ahead, are you behind? Are you having trouble predicting when that next click is gonna be? One, two, three, four, one, two. Try to feel it, get in there. But at first it might be coming all from your head. Three, four, one, two. I'm just sitting on a G by the way, just sitting on a chord. One. Two, three, four. There we go. Okay. Now, item number two, we break it up into eighth notes. Now, as, an, as that might, name might suggest, there's eight attacks, eight attacks in the bar. So that would be this: one and two and three and four. And notice there's your upstroke coming in. So three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and a one and two and three. Just sit there for, sit there with me for a bit. Four and a one and two and three and four and a one and two and three. It can really help to do this with somebody as you might be doing with me right now. Uh, and I know it really helps when people do, do a lot of private lessons and people come in and it's really beneficial to sit in the same room and do it. And you might be following a little bit of my right hand. Just make sure you're hearing the click too. It's got it. It's all about that click. So that was number two. Uh, number three, this is neat. We're going to move the eighth note. Um, so it's going to start out with an eighth note. It's going to go down, up, two eighth notes, I should say. Down, up, and then it's just down, down, down. That's number three. So it's going down, up, down, down, down. And then we're going to move the eighth note. In the next bar, number four, we're going to go down, down, up, down, down. So we move the eighth notes from beat one to beat two. Uh, that's going to be, here, here's three and four without the click for now. One and two, three, four. Now bar number four is this. One, two, and three, four. We've moved the eighth note over one beat. And then uh, bar five, we've moved it to beat three. It's going one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And item number six, we move it to the 
Beat number four. One, two, three, four, and like that. So let me do, uh, let's do four bars of each with the click. I'll show them out. Bar three, bar four, bar five, etc. Play along with me. And here we go. One, two, three, number three. One, and two. Number four coming. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. Number five. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two. Number six coming. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four. And good. I really like that exercise for people because, and for myself as well, um, it's forcing you to know what beat are you on in that bar. So count, count, count. And eventually you don't have to count anymore. You literally just feel it. You just literally feel it. But at first there is no shame in counting out loud, just like that, just like we did. Um, let's do that again. Four. Uh, four patterns on from bars three to six. Okay, just this is more about daily drills. Here it comes. One, number three, four times. Here it comes. One, and two, three, four. One, and two, three, four. One, and two, three, four. One, and two. Three, four. One, and two. Number four coming. One, two, and three. Number five coming. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And a one, two, three, and four. And a one, two. Number six coming. And a one, two, three, four. And 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 there we go. Great exercise. I hope you'll treat that like a daily drill. Again, you don't just do this one time and you're done. It's all about calibrating all the time. Um, now, I want to, so I don't forget to mention it. Uh, we're, we've been sitting on one chord. Typically, where people, myself included, speed up or slow down is when you change chords. I guess sometimes when we're first starting out, the stress of going, let's say, G to C and getting there on time, people tend to speed up. Uh, so really watch out for that when you're playing. You could maybe go G, C, and D or whatever chords you're comfortable with, practice changing like that, but make sure you're still on with the click. Uh, item number seven, here, one of the most popular strumming patterns out there is this guy. I'll play it again. Three, four, down, down, up, up, down, up. That's that guy there. Now notice we're missing a downstroke on uh, beat three. That's pretty normal. One, two, and three. So there's no attack, no, no strum on beat three. So one, two, three, four, down, down, up, up, again, round around on number seven, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, that's it, listen for that click. Good. And now number eight. Let's look at number eight. Um, we're just move. We got an eighth note down, up, up, down. So we've taken we've taken the downstroke out of beat two. Now it can be disconcerting. To, it feels like a missing beat. Remember, time is still going by. It's just how you subdivide the beats in the bar, right? So there mathematically just tons and tons of options in there. Number eight without the click would be this: down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. Up. Yeah, you should be able to freely go from one pattern to the next without it messing up your right hand. Uh, number eight, round around with the click. Two, three, four, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. That was number eight, and I, don't, I think I may have forgotten to mention we're, we're playing at 84 beats per minute here. 84 beats per minute if you want to set your own metronome. Um, you don't have to if you're playing along with me, of course. 
Um, now accents are a really big deal. Accents serve as your musical punctuation. It's a really, really big deal. We don't every, want everything sounding static in its volume, it's dynamic. Um, so here's one um, happens so often in rock stuff, pop stuff, country stuff, where we accent beats two and four. Beats two and four. That's where the snare drum comes in. If you watch a drummer, one, two, three, four. That's a, that's a huge big deal. Uh, your body's going to want to accent one and three. It's going to accent one. It wants to when you change chords, but try, try to teach that right hand who's boss. And now without the click would be this one and two. quicker at 84 but let's try it. straight down up but with an accent on two and four number nine two three four one and two And that accent may have forced you to speed up or you, you wanted to speed up because we hit harder and then a right hand thinks that harder should be faster. So try to tame that right hand a little bit. You can hit harder without playing faster. Accents are so important. Uh, and really number 10 is the same as number seven, but I've added the accent on what we call the and of two. What does that mean? One, two, and. So we're accenting here on an upstroke. And at first that's like rubbing your hair backwards the wrong way. Your right hand won't want to do it. One, two, and three, and four, and down, down. Oh, yeah, see that kind of blurs the bar line. It's not so, so static like that. It gives it a little bit of life, musicality. So in time number eight, excuse me, number 10, round and round. Two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, accent, and four, and one, and a two, one, two, and three, and four, and 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 one, two, and three, one more. Two, and three, and four, and Yeah. So Again, daily drills, do them, do them, do them. What ends up happening is you, you end up playing a whole lot better with other people and um, a little bit of speed up, you know, is, is perfectly reasonable when you're playing with others. Um, but just when it starts what we call playing downhill, where it's just rolling, rolling, it's getting faster and faster and faster. You gotta be able to control that. Um, so uh, playing what's called pushing, pushing it where you're almost speeding up is a great way to play. It sounds exciting, but you have to know if you're pushing or if you're speeding up. You can feel that wave, just don't let it go over, you know what I mean? So push it here, two, three, four, and down. So there, I'm just on the verge of speeding up there and it's a nice way to play, it feels right, but the, the click reeled me in. So anyway, lots of questions about metronomes. I hope you treat that as a daily drill. 84 beats per minute and always fun. I appreciate your thumbs up. That's, you've been very kind to me in that area. Um, please head to patreon.com slash guitar at work and grab this sheet. It's gonna help you quite a bit. And uh, maybe in subsequent videos, we'll get into 16th notes where we get a little faster, things like that. So uh, let me know what you think and meet me in the comments section we're supposed to say on YouTube here. And uh, please uh, come back and see me soon. If you have questions, let me know. But thanks a lot guys, we'll see you again soon. Okay, cheers. Good. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and change to a C here now, and four, and one, two, and listen to that click.